everybody. It's Robert here again. I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is um, basically a tutorial on the software of, that's little known called Driver Booster from uh, I, the uh, company IOBit. And um, um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will put the links to the to those the websites, the CNET one and the uh, IOBit website, um, so you can download it for free. It, it it is a free program, and there's also a pro version. I'll talk to that. I'll talk about that later in the video. Okay, and um, comment, like, and subscribe if you're if you're new. And seems like my uh, tutorial, my technology tutorials, have actually gotten the most views on YouTube. So I'm I'm gonna do that and maybe an occasional taste test video. So. All right, I will see you in the video. Bye. Hey everybody, it's uh, Robert here, and I'm gonna do a new another tutorial. This time, it's gonna be the software here, right here, Driver Booster. You can download it from iobit.com, and it's software from iobit. And here's the the regular website. The current version is 4.4. And it doesn't take very much space and it supports all the way up to Windows 10. And this is also another link to that same software from uh, CNET. It's download.com. If you don't know what CNET is, CNET is a technology review um, organization and company that reviews software and a lot of hardware such as laptops, printers, tablets and even does like the iPhone they they actually review all those gadgets as well as software like driver booster that I'm going to show you. All right. Let's get it started and see what it does. So what Driver Booster does, it updates the system driver software. Basically, it does graphics, it does sound, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, webcam, and USB drivers. Oh, and also display drivers. So when you launch it, it automatically scans all of your drivers to see if you need to update any drivers. So this is this is a, and I have the current version which is 4.4. So hi so all you have to do after you install it is you're going to go through a little bit of a pro process just uh, make sure you don't install anything other than driver booster. Okay? Um So, um, so what I have here is, what you have here is all the drivers. You got Bluetooth, you got system devices, you've got um, network adapters, um, audio, and also uh, driver software for the keyboard, the touchpad, the uh, um, USB, the uh, even the RAM and the uh, SATA controller for your hard drive. And it even has a driver for every core, every processor core. So in, this, in my case, it's an AMD 88 4500M APU with high definition graphics. And that there are four of those. So, so it's a quad core processor. And of course, this is USB 3.0, which has 
which my computer has two USB 3.0 and one uh, USB 2.0 but um, your uh, drivers will vary and it even detects like printers and uh, portable devices such as you know USB flash drives um, the Apple iPod or the Apple iPhone and many and even the batteries have have separate drivers so you it's going to automatically scan all of your drivers and it takes like a minute or two you just saw it, it took about a minute and it so it found one outdated device driver so and it tells you if it's old or extremely old or anything that needs to update so what you do is click update now to download and install the update and you'll get this pop-up and say you may need to disable security software most of the time it won't so you don't have to worry about it just click there and click continue update and it's going to download in this case, it'll take about a few minutes to download. While we're waiting, um, while we're waiting for it to download, I'll probably just skip over this part with my editor. <laughs> I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and let me uh, get you to the action center while we're here and, and this is all of this is just software other software that you can install from iobit the company they have like UI settings toolkit options things like that so you can you can also look at those now for the uh, for the there is a pro version that costs money but this is but I have the free version so it'll update all your basic drivers this in this case is a display adapter driver that I need to update and And for like pro functions like auto download, accelerate downloading, things like that, you you would have to buy a buy a, a pro license, which I think is let me check the website uh, while we're here. Is this is the easiest way to update drive? Um, let's see, Driver Booster Pro, and this, well, it's about $23 to uh, do the Pro version. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I haven't really had much of a chance to come up with ideas until now and also uh, the music minister at my church passed away recently um, unexpectedly so um, I'm, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit heartbroken about that but anyway this I digress this software is the easiest way to update your drivers and you don't even have and you really don't even need a, a, a pro license at all it'll update all your basic drivers including sound like sometimes if, if a video plays and 
it doesn't do sound. This is, but you may want to check to make sure that the driver is completely up, completely up to date. Yeah, it's still downloading. I'll probably skip over this part. Okay, looks like the update is complete. Sometimes, though, for some updates, you're going to have to restart your computer. This one didn't require a restart, so. But of course, it did require, like, the browser. Well, it, it, it required the, the display to go black and then come back, so. So now it's done, and that's all you need to do. If you have any other questions about Driver Booster, um, just let me know in the comments. I'll put the links to those two websites down below in the comments. And have a great day. Goodbye.